Welcome back to the oh show. Oh my gosh, in person. It's great to see you in person. Yes, in the flesh. Thank you so much for, you, you helped us out on, on Zoom, and then we actually well, did I didn't it. help you. You did. I just you... was there once. No, well that, that's helping our show, <laughs> so I appreciate that. Thank you so much for doing that. Uh, we also did a great bit together based off of WandaVision, and mm -hmm. that was one of our best bits that we'd ever done on the show. Congrats on WandaVision, by the way. <laughs> Since uh, I talked to you, <laughs> it was so great. It's so funny. It was fantastic. It got nominated for like 20 Emmy nominations. And I was like, oh my gosh. And of course, it was the first kind of Emmys back where everyone just kind of came back. What was that like for you, that experience of the, having an award show and all, uh, everyone around? It was weird. I mean, it was very surprising. No one, no one does a Marvel job and thinks that you're going to get nominated <laughs> yeah. for something. Yeah, you don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't get it. Yeah. But you did. But you we did. It. And then we, we actually got to celebrate together for the first time at the Emmys because we, we wrapped during COVID. And yeah. I, wish, I wish that we, everyone was together, like department heads and everything. But um, it was really special getting to be there and celebrate our show among like you know like really serious things yeah. and we just well, had a good so time. It was so good and different and creative that uh, you had to be a, a plotter for that. It was just so fun to watch and uh, I'll, we'll talk about Doctor Strange but congrats on that and you Thank nailed you. it. WandaVision was so good. Yeah. I was happy for you. But you have you have a new pro a project coming out that I'm excited for it because uh, I have kids. Uh, you're, you're writing a children's book. You wrote yes, it. Yes, my husband and I wrote a children's book. Look at this. Which I didn't know I was going to talk about tonight, but how great. Yeah, you can talk about it, yeah. yeah. I figure, why not? Why not? Um, it's, um, it comes out um, the end of June. And, Hattie um, Harmony. Hattie Harmony. She's a worry detective. And this was a project that we came up with during COVID and lockdown. So a lot of ideas and, came out of it. Yeah, and trying to figure out what positive stuff to put out in the world and yeah. how to affect kids in a positive way. Yeah. And, um, and I love talking about my feelings in therapy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, so, yeah. So, so she's this... a worried detective, and she helps her friends at school um, identify their feelings, and then she has a toolkit, and she gives them tools to help. Um, deal with their worries and their anxieties, and it's a book series. I'm really excited oh, about. You, so you have a second we'll do, one. We will, yeah. Oh, next really? Year. Congratulations! I love Hattie yeah. Harmony. It's a great. Yeah. It's a cute name. Isn't she cute? Yeah. I know. That's my husband. He's very clever. And Hattie, and Caddy, yeah, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I was reading up on you before this interview just to see if there's anything uh, else that we haven't talked about, and I saw that. You got your real estate license before your career took off? I did. In New York City? While I was in college. Really? Yeah, I just wanted a summer job that wasn't at a restaurant. You couldn't, why, you, didn't, you couldn't work at a restaurant? I just, you know, I, I think I'm really patient with people, but I don't know if I actually would have been able to deal with that every day. I feel like the customer's always right isn't the most fair thing in the world. Yeah, they, yeah. there's some customers there's that some, aren't right. They're really yeah. not you right. Go, hey, treat, yeah, no, yeah. they're not right. Yeah, treat people with respect. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah calm down. Yeah. So I felt, I, real estate, I, I liked whatever. I just, like, it was easy. I mean, I just, I mean, getting the license wasn't easy. That was actually annoying, but. What um, do you have to do for a real estate license? I, you, you just take classes, and I, I didn't, like, sell things. I worked for someone who did, but um, did I just. Did you go to apartment showings? You yes. Feel like, why don't you yes. come take a look at the kitchen? It's really spacious. And I like went in and like turned lights on. That's like a really big part of my job. Wow, nailed it. Uh, <laughs> wow. Thank you. Wow, isn't that unbelievable? But I would like be booking these appointments and I just moved to New York. I was 19 years old. Uh -huh. And I'd be booking people's appointments and I'd come up with street names that I didn't I didn't know how to pronounce and, and there was a street that is very familiar to me like now. Houston or? Well, that one I mess up now after living in New York for eight years. You're like, oh, but, it's on um, Houston Street. No, it was, oh, it was Stuyvesant. Stuyvesant. Yeah, so I was making an appointment. I was like, um, our client wants to see like 46 Stuyvesant Street. Wow. And everyone Stuyvesant, in the office. Stuyvesant, you made Stuyvesant? Stuyvesant? Yeah. Stuytown? Yeah. <laughs> I did, wasn't familiar with it yet. That's so perfect. That's fantastic. But no one told me when I was doing it. They all were just silent while I was on Stuvisant? the phone. Stuyvesant? And they didn't correct me, and then they all just laughed. D you could jack the prices up if you lived in... I know. In, in Stuytown? Stuyvesant Town? Stuyvesant Town? <laughs> uh, it sounds so French. It's so yeah. cool. Yeah. I, we went... Someone, they didn't like that at all. It didn't take off? No, no, it's just a voicemail, and I was just made fun of after. So, yeah. I love that. I'm always going to call it that from now on. I remember learning what Soho was. I was like, oh, Soho, that's so cool. Like, it just means south, south of Houston. Houston. Yeah, everything. Dumbo, everything. Yeah, I didn't know what any of that stuff meant. Which I is go, cool. Yes, There is a coolness We made it, it cool. Yeah. Yeah, Nomad. Yeah. North of Madison. Sure. Yeah. I think I just learned that. Oh, is that right? Sure. 
Alright, yeah. Stuvisson, we Stuvisson, both learn no learning matter. from each other. Yeah. Let's talk about Doctor Strange. Yes. Uh, uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Oh my gosh. Big, <laughs> big, big, big movie this weekend. Go see it IMAX if you can. Uh, I know you just had the big premiere in LA. Yes. How did that go? It was really amazing. It was, it's just, it's amazing to be in front of people clapping and screaming. It's, um, <laughs> you missed that, right? I'm really shallow. I really need it. <laughs> but, so do I. Please, I need it more than you. But it was, it was amazing to, to have a premiere in front of fans. I don't watch the, I don't watch the, I didn't watch it. You don't I don't, watch I haven't seen it. No, I do watch myself. I just decided I can't watch these Marvel movies at a premiere anymore. Why? Well, I, I just, every time I just watch it and I, and I look at around me and I'm like, well, it's our first flop. Like every time you, I just think it's our first flop. You, you think you, you are, you. I, well, I saw Avengers in, Endgame and I looked around me and I said, is it th our first flop? Avengers Endgame yeah. is one of the biggest movies in the history yeah. of the world. Yeah. And you were like, all right, we, I know, was we like, got our I first don't flop. Know. I don't know. No about one's going to watch one. this Avengers thing. Yeah. yeah. And so I just decided I don't want to put myself through that experience oh, that again. Is so, uh, so I'll see it at some point. It is so not a flop. And uh, <laughs> you are uh, getting amazing reviews, by the way. Uh, you just pop. You're uh, stunning in this Popper. thing. You do. You <laughs> pop. You come out. I mean, have you, do you read the reviews or you go, I can't get that involved either? I am. Um, I see them when they're sent to me. Michael <laughs> Waldron, who wrote it, sent me a clip of what, like a, just a segment of one, and it was like such an absurd quote that I just told him that like you're you're mean and you're lying. And then he sent me the article, oh, you're and I went to the reviews. article, and the guy's name was Mick, and I was like, Michael, what a bad alias. Oh uh, yeah, well, yeah. You Michael. He, yeah, he was Mick. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, was Michael. Mick, uh, yes, yeah. Where do you live? In Stuvisson, really, yeah. 46? Uh, yeah, please. Uh, I can see. I can see. Yeah. I got no names, but yeah. <laughs> no, I said Mick is a cool name. Um, uh, well, uh, there's there's a theory online. I, of course, no spoilers, and you know, I don't want to tell anyone no anything. Spoilers. Never. But there's some goodies okay. in this one. Yeah, there's some cameos, maybe. Maybe. I was hardly there. You can't say anything yet. I was just me in a green screen and no just other actor. Just plug your ears a little bit and close your eyes. Sure. But do you want okay. to tell them? No, I'm just going to okay. say there are cameos. Oh, yeah. Right. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, I wouldn't say who it is. But then there's, there's theories online that, that say maybe your character in this film ends up being the villain. Yes, I've heard about this. I've seen the film. I can't. This is me acting. This is my poker face. Well, you know, I don't think of any character I play as a villain or a bad guy or a good guy. Of course not. We love Elizabeth we, Olsen. No, we just love, I love my characters. Oh, okay. You know, I want to, I'm you... their advocate. I, I defend them. Okay. I just played an axe murderer and I love her and I think she's fabulous. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. So that's. Coming to you in fall. Coming up. <laughs> Bring the whole family. Not in this one. Uh, well, congrats on everything. Uh, I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Elizabeth Olsen and Benedict Cumberbatch in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Take a look at this. What do you know about the multiverse? The multiverse? This had his theories. He believed it was real and dangerous. Well, he was right about both. We found a girl who can somehow travel across it, but she's being pursued. Pursued by him. Some kind of demon. One that covets her power for itself. We've taken her to Carmitage, and we've got our defenses, but we could use an Avenger. There are other Avengers. Yeah, but given the choice between the Archer with the Mohawk and several bug-themed crime fighters, or one of the most powerful magic wielders on the planet, <laughs> it's an easy call. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Elizabeth Olsen, everybody. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness opens in theaters and IMAX this Friday. Hey, hey.